Hi there folks, welcome back to the Ivy and Andy Fishing Channel. I hope you're doing really well. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subs button. If you're a regular subscriber, thank you very much for coming back at IB. We're doing something that we've never done on this channel before today, aren't no, we? No, I've never done it at all, like ever. Tell the good people in YouTube land what we're doing. We're gonna fish for trout on a still water. <laughs> so, so you've never caught a trout from a still water before, is that correct? I have, but it was for pipe fishing, so I don't count it. Ah, there was an accidental one, wasn't there? I haven't fished a trout still water for over 10 years. So between the two of us, not a huge amount of experience. We've got a very small box of flies that we collected during the summer with a plan to film this during the summer and then never got round to it. Uh, so we've probably got all the wrong flies. Yep. But we've got floating lines, intermediate lines, we've got a sinker, we've got a few different bits and pieces rigged up. It's a lake, neither of us have ever fished before. So basically everything's against us. Well, but it's, it's at least the weather is nice. It's a beautiful November day. It is absolutely stunning. The lake looks really nice. There's a nice riffle on the water. Well, it's nice we were talking, and sunny. We had a spider that did a web <laughs> on us. We're getting attacked by insects already. It's a good sign. We've seen a few fish top. There's a couple of the guys fishing here who have caught. It's positive. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, we could end up thrashing the place to a phone, but if we can get <laughs> if we can get you off the mark with a still water trout, that'd be awesome. And I have a new cap. I reckon there's going to be a lot of people watching this who fish still waters regularly, who by the end of this vlog are going to go, oh my god, what yeah, are that, they that doing? Was, that was horrible. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section what we've done wrong, but we need to get rigged up and get casting and get catching. Let's catch a trout. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Not going to lie. I have a yellow thing, cormorant on the dop, on the dropper and a blue flash damsel on the on the dropper the cormorant is on the point fly and he told me to do a figure of eight retrieve so i'm trying to do that righty still water fly fishing it has been a while well over 10 years uh, ib's gone floating line to start with so i've gone with an inter blob on the point a couple of different crunches on the droppers this will be interesting Give that a five count first. So that's my plan is just to start with, with this into is just mix up the mix up the counts a little bit. Try and fish the try and fish the water column. You can see that blob hasn't quite sunk yet, it's just waking across the surface. That's okay. So the rod and line I'm using are both absolutely brand spanking new. The line straight out of the box isn't quite <laughs> isn't quite sinking yet. So I'm kind of fishing an inter but it's still floating. Hopefully, at some point, it's going to drag that blob under. This is the, tr the strangest, the trippiest experience. There are like six, seven anglers on the lake, and no one's stalking. Like, it's spooky. No one's saying a word. Like, they will catch a fish, and no one's even like, woohoo, or well done. <laughs> so unusual <laughs> it's creeping me out and i start screaming after i hope my uh, trout everyone's gonna be complaining who's that uh, girl that disturbed everyone's peace and quiet righty i'm getting pretty close to a change of tactic here not seeing that many fish move near the surface certainly not as many as we did when we first arrived so possibly a bit of a change of rig here possibly a heavier fly on the point and might stick that blob on the top dropper maybe certainly no follows yet i don't think ib's had any follows or takes either we've only been fishing for about 10 minutes but big fan of if it's not working change it and at the moment it feels like this isn't working so yeah i reckon we've got some fly changes coming up righty so total change on the rig so blob is now top dropper i've got a cormorant on the middle dropper and i've got a little white marabou lure just a small one on the point and it's all just going to fish a little bit deeper than i had been doing don't get me wrong i'm not going to be dredging the bottom but i don't think i need to also gives me the option of varying your retrieve a little bit jag a few around a little bit faster stop a few i don't think it's a day for ripping it back but feeling my way into this as I, I am miles out of my comfort zone this isn't something i do <laughs> i haven't fished a still water for so long okie doke so we've had a bit of a walk around and we are now facing into the wind which i always kind of prefer any type of fishing i always like to be into the wind any food or anything that's on the water you'd assume is being blown down to this end so worth a look i know that doesn't always ring true 
but yeah. we're, we're feeling away into this. We're learning. Right, it's windy. I'm casting into the wind. It's not easy. But we don't care though, do we? Right, so that one, I'm not gonna let that one sink too long. Give that five seconds and then start that little kind of tap tap retrieve. Not fast, I don't think it needs to be fast. The water's probably too cold for booming quick retrieves. Oh, turned away just at the last minute, just as I lifted it, yeah. Couldn't have left it any later. Got him. Yeah, there we go. There's a fish. There's a fish. Just at the end of the retrieve. I wonder if that's the one that followed before. Just at the end, just as I was lifting the rig to recast. That was nice. Follow on the cast before. Show me there was a fish in the area. Next cast. There he is. Nice, strong fish. Pretty sure he's taking that point fly. Little white marabou lure. That's healthy bending the rod. Where's that net? I think we might be getting there. In you come, buddy. That'll do. Hey, I be we're off the mark. <laughs> it's, it's a team effort. Ah, that was cool. Who told you to come here? <laughs> Who did tell me to come here, Ivy? Me. Did you? Yeah. Thank you for your guidance, sage advice. Well, that was really cool. Nice to get off the mark, just a reassurance that we're doing something right. Nice, hard fighting. Still water rainbow. Back he goes. Sick! We can do it, IB. We're not totally rubbish. Do you still, does it still feel the same as it was 10 years ago? <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I actually caught a still water fish. So this is all totally new to me again. It's really fun. Nice to do something different. So you're off the mark, aren't you? You had a take, you had a follow, and you just landed a rainbow. Yeah, I don't think it's any coincidence that we've moved down to where the wind's blowing you into. You are welcome. And, or, uh, and, and immediately found some fish I think that's I think that's probably pretty much par for the course and that's about right uh, you had anything going on at all nope, yet nothing not even a touch pretty seen a fish pretty quiet so far I wonder if we perhaps put you on a rig that just drops down a little bit deeper maybe I don't know hmm. or actually we've got an intermediate line here for you actually already rigged up so we could just put a couple of those slightly heavier lures on there and see if we can pull pull one for you as well can I just go with a little spinner through <laughs> Get the lower, the lower rods out. No, no lure fishing, no breaking the rules. Mm. But we shouldn't need it, we're in a good spot I think. Hopefully we've found a few fish. We'll perhaps get you set up on that intermediate now, it's probably about the right time. And hopefully we've kind of cracked the code for the next hour or so, because we had to work pretty hard for that first one. To be fair, since we moved here it's a lot, it's a lot more difficult to cast as well, isn't it? Especially we're, getting some distance, it's a lot difficult. We're, in, we're into the wind, so yeah, it's more complicated, but if we've got a if we've got to go through that to catch a few more fish, I think it's worth it, isn't it? 100%. Should we give it a go? Yes. Right, so I've proved to myself that I can do it. What I've got to do now is prove to myself that it wasn't just a fluke. <laughs> it may well have been, I don't know, I mean, had a take, then had a follow, had a fish, I must have done something right there. So um, I'd like to repeat it a few more times before I say that I've got it nailed. That definitely isn't the case yet. Okay, so now I have three flies, which will be even more difficult to cast into this wind. But I'm on the intermediate. I will try. I thought this was supposed to be easy. Oh. 
Oh, uh, that's a fish. Oh my god, that's an actual fish. That's actually a fish. What is happening? I didn't know. Uh, okay. I didn't know I can catch a fish. Clearly I can because I'm so good. But don't panic. Just play the fish. Don't lose it. It's not a big one, I don't think. I think it's the smallest fish of the lake. Where are you? You a rainbow? Are you a brown trout? Come on. Come on. I think it's a brownie. And look at me. I didn't shout Andy at any point. I will shout him when I land the fish. I actually hooked still water trout. Look at that. I'm trying to adhere to the still water rules. No talking, no having fun, dead quiet, not allowed to celebrate your catch or, or do a trout dance. Yes! My first ever still water trout that actually was fished for. And I think it's bigger than yours, Andy. Oh, it's definitely bigger than mine. Ah. I'm sorry, sorry. I can't do that. It's not allowed here. Sorry. I will be very quiet. That is so cool. My first ever still water trout. And to be fair, I probably would to end it because I was fishing with a floating line first and I was clearly not getting down deep enough. And then Annie changed to me. Well, she told me to change to the intermittent. Intermitted? Is that, is that the thing, Andy? Intermediate. Intermediate. Because I'm such an expert on um, still water trout fishing right now. So, And it worked very quickly as well. The water is freezing cold. The fish is full of energy. <sighs> Still water or not, it seems like I can't avoid rainbow trout. Rainbow trout, rainbow trout. Everybody loves a rainbow trout. Oh, beautiful. Mission accomplished. But I'm not gonna celebrate because you're not allowed. You have to be very, very quiet on the still water and not upset other anglers. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, that is a real relief. I really wanted our bee to catch one today, so that is kind of mission accomplished as far as, as far as I'm concerned. I didn't want her to come here and hate it and feel like she can't do it and then not want to come back, so good on you, IB. Right, so I had my first ever still water trout that I was actually fishing for. The one, like I said, the one that I caught while pike fishing, I don't really count. So I'm quite proud of myself and pleased because, you know, I'm doing pretty much everything on my own and he's nowhere near me so he can't he's not like it's not like he's helping me with what I need to do so it's just nice that I've got it all on camera to share with you guys that my first still water experience There's a fish. There we go. That was a lovely take. That was a cracking take. Just slid away with it. Absolutely perfect. Let's see if I can get him on the reel. Didn't feel the take. I just saw the line kind of slide away from the rod tip. You just know that something's grabbed hold of that fly. Oh, now he's woken up. Yep, he's definitely woken up. Oh, still lively. That nice cold water. And it is bloody cold as well, I can assure you. Still anything. Sorry, can you play your fish a little bit more quietly, please? <laughs> You're making a, a little bit too much noise for my liking. Can you criticise my noise a little bit more quietly, please? <laughs> Is it a nice rainbow? Yeah. Probably about twice the size of yours. Oh. <laughs> it was a beautiful take. I didn't feel anything. I was watching the line just where it drops down from the rod tip and it just slid to the right. You just knew that something had taken it. Really nice take. So you're fishing the intermediate as well? I'm on the intermittent, as I'd be called. <laughs> Come on, chat, that'll do. That'll do, yeah, there we go. Like I said, twice as big as yours. Well, then, it's not twice as big as mine. <laughs>
Really nice one, that one. Beautiful take, just kind of slid away again on that white and green kind of cat's whisker looking marabou. Little uh, pretty fish, beautiful light. Back you go. I be how cold is that water? <laughs> My hand's gone bright red immediately. But the fishing seems to be getting better. Actually, it's kind of come hand in hand with a sustained period of sunshine. And I just wonder if that's made a difference because when we first got here, it kind of clouded up a little bit. But actually that sun's been out now for about 45 minutes and all of a sudden we're catching fish. It could just be a coincidence. It may be that we're just in the right spot at the bottom of the wind. Whatever it is, it's working. And I think we need to keep doing it. Right, I hope Andy doesn't make catching fish a regular occurrence because he's not right next to me. So I have to like leave my fishing, go tend after his fish and that is just not on because I'm going to catch fish too and I'm not going to do that while I'm listening to him waffle about his trout that is twice the size as mine, which it definitely wasn't. It's so weird with um, fishing on the still water. You know, when you're used to rivers and you're looking for flow lines and where the fish might be sitting and here, like, everything looks the same. Yes, fish. Ooh! Didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. Ooh! Ooh. Fuck! Hell! Fuck me! Where are you? Oh my god, these fish do fight, don't they? Oh my god, I'm not sure what it is. It's like a bloody torpedo. Took off, started jumping around. Ah, my second still water trout. Bloody hell fire. Yep, yep, yep. Still going, still going. I think it's on the other side of the lake now. Whew. What is happening? This is a lot stronger fish than the first one. I tell you that. I don't know if it's bigger, but it jumped out like a crazy trout. Still going, still going. On the point fly again, I think. Yeah, I'm basically a pro now. If anyone needs any lessons, hello me. He's not done yet. Yes, trout. Come on, trout. Yes. Whoa. Silent celebration. Whoa, 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 whoa. Exciting. Just as I was moaning and complaining and whinging, unlike me, I know. I had a take again. So unusual. It, it's not. I would. I wouldn't describe that and think. Oh my god, that's definitely a trout. Such a untrout take. I don't know if it's because it's cold, but definitely not like a trout take. I will show it to you. I don't know if it's a bigger one than... I think it might be smaller than the last one I had. But we will put him back. There you go. Full of energy. Boom. Handy. Catch me up now. Oh, let me tell you with absolute certainty, it is not warm. Man is not hot right now. <laughs> it's absolutely freezing. That wind is cutting, but it's also pushing the fish down to this end of the lake, so I don't feel too inclined to move anyway. I'm starting to see just the very occasional, and it is occasional, it's not a proper hatch, but the very occasional bug floating around which is just making me wonder whether I could possibly go back to the kind of double cruncher rig that I had on earlier. Maybe just fish that, maybe just fish that lure on the point. I might try that because I haven't had any success on anything but that lure. Maybe something a bit more natural. I don't know. Again, I'm <laughs> making it up as I go along. But that sun's been out a while now. Possibly there could be a few, a few bugs moving around in the water. Okay, so I've made that change. I've obviously stuck with the with the little lure that's catching all the fish. But I've put a, a cruncher on the middle dropper and then a, a variant of a dial back on the top dropper in black, just a bit of a silhouette. Just wonder if in this light, maybe a, a little dark dial back on that top dropper. Certainly not gonna fish it quickly now. I've got those two more natural flies on there, but obviously I need to keep that little lure moving as well. So we should be okay. Oh, that was a take. Just a little tap. 
Andy, rookie, definitely take just the slightest of pressure. Trying to watch that line. Oh, that was another take. Trying to watch that line at the rod tip as close as I can. Jeez, these are the tiniest of takes. Trying to hit these as much with my left hand as with my right. Oh, where the fish just took off the top. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, <laughs> just on the hang. I <laughs> basically stopped. <laughs> Pretty much. I was just about to lift that up and he took it. <laughs> Be interesting to see what he's eaten. Is he on one of the droppers? I think he might be actually, yeah. Is he? Yeah, I think he is. I think he's just taken the um, cruncher on the middle dropper, I'm pretty sure. Come on, bud. Oh, oh, strong. Wow, whoa. <laughs> See if I can put him on the reel. I get the feeling I'm not gonna stun this guy in now. Oh, panic's coming towards me. Oh, he might be ready. Are you done? Are you done? Yeah, that was a good fly change. He's on that cruncher. Just a slightly more natural, slightly more natural pattern. Thought I'd seen a couple of bugs hatching off in the last few minutes. Then I saw that rise, which kind of confirmed it. Hey! That's cool. It's one thing getting on pulled lures, but actually seeing a fish rise, seeing a couple of flies hatch and then making the fly change to match. That feels pretty good. I'm happy with that one. Yeah, really cool that. Nice to get one on a change of fly. The, the theory kind of worked and as I say, I'm kind of, I'm making most of this stuff as I go along. But I saw a fish rise, I changed something more natural. And within a couple of casts, it got eaten. So yeah, proof of the puddings in the eat and that's worked out quite nicely. Uh, as I say, the sun's been out now for a good hour and a half. It feels slightly warmer than it was before in the air. There are just very occasional bugs hatching. Saw a fish rise. There we go. We're making it work just at the end of the just at the end of the retrieve. Really happy with that one. That's probably my favourite one of the day so far. But there's definitely time for more. Hi B, how's this going? Well, I think you are at the moment killing me. Oh no, there's only you know one what? fish in it. You're not coming to my venues anymore because every single time you come here to my venues, you overfish me, and that I find that absolutely disgraceful, disrespectful, and just not on. It's only one fish. You've still got plenty of time to catch up yet. What's your immediate opinion on still water fly fishing? I don't know. It's something different, isn't it? I think when the rivers are flooded, or if I can't get to the rivers, to come here and have it like 20 minutes away from us, it's quite hand, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Just something so totally different. Like I've been fishing the river, 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 grailing, 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 to come here and catch a few trout. It's actually nice. It's just a different challenge, isn't it? Yeah. We spoke about it on the drive down here actually it's nice just to go and do something different and this is outside of both of our comfort zones 100 100 percent. and i was saying on the camera as well you know how we're fishing quite far apart yeah i, I was really proud that i was like doing the troops myself and picking the flies myself it just i don't know like it's nice you know what you're doing well i'm an expert now so. <laughs> do you reckon there's time for a few more fish while his sun's out i think so yeah i need to warm my hand up i can't really feel it at the moment <laughs> it is one of those days isn't it you know i've been catching so many fish and wetting my hand and hooking the fish it's just my gopro is off all the time i just can't can't feel it anymore so i'm gonna warm my hand up um i think and i'm gonna try and catch one more i don't want loads just one fish and i'm gonna be happy what about you yeah i agree with that I'd, I'd be happy to get one more fish and go home and have a nice warm cup of tea yeah. and a little celebrate i think that'd be cool such a nice sunday day like it's beautiful you wouldn't you wouldn't say that it's end of november would you like, absolutely it's not, not. Raining, it's a stunner and the wind kind of dropped down a little a bit little now. bit yeah. yeah which hopefully helps with casting you know why the wind's dropped why because we're not fishing <laughs> that is so true because as soon as I will pick up that rod and start casting, the wind is going to go up again. Gale force. Can we? Can you be a bit more quiet, please? Shh! It's still water trout fish. Yes. Shh. Shut up. Shh. Stop being excited. Shh. <laughs> okay, so we've had a little bit of a move. We've come a little bit further around the lake. Uh, felt like we could probably have stayed down to that bottom end and kept picking up fish, but it'd be nice to fish somewhere different. Just cover some water. It's the first time we've fished this place, so just get a a feel for what's going on. Got a, a nice ripple coming from right to left here. And we just go through the same kind of processes as we did before. So first cast. Not gonna let that sink too far. Oh, 
fish. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> the line got caught on my zinger and I was fiddling around with it. I picked the rod up, twitched, <laughs> twitched the fly once, and the fish has whacked it. That's amazing. What are the chances? <laughs> Didn't deserve it, but I'll take it. Oh, oh, I just realised what's going on as well. Sorry? Sorry. Yeah, this just called me a bat. Has just given me an idea about letting the flies drop a little bit lower in the water column. Righty. Guard him on the reel. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, are you done? Will that do? Oof, good turn of pace. <laughs> Off he goes. Yeah. Ib's giving me grief from behind me. So I cast this out, and as I cast it, it got tangled around my zinger, which at that point was there. So I let the flies drop, and I fiddled around with my zinger, put my zinger on the other side, grabbed the rod again, gave it half a strip, and thump, <laughs> it smashed it. Ooh. Pretty good account of itself. Come on, but that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That might be my biggest of the day as well. Awesome, that was fun. So definitely a little bit jammy, but you know we're learning. We'll take uh, we'll take anything that comes our way. I'm pretty sure that's my longest fish of the day. Um, Cracking scrap. Let's get him back. Plenty of life in him, plenty of life in IB. How's it going up there? It's tough. Tough? Are you going to keep casting for a bit? Yes. You still in the game? No. Are you going to catch more trout? No. <laughs> I think we can. I think we've got time for more here. So I gave up about 40 minutes ago and just sat here watching fish rise and birds doing a dunk and come up back up and the sun go down and it was quite it's a very very pleasant day isn't it It's a beautiful evening it really is I'm and not I'm not going to lie I find it quite a frustrating evening Yeah yeah it's very quiet isn't it The thing is I kept seeing fish move around like I know they're there but they don't want my flies, what can I do? I covered rising fish with dries, I covered them with crunches and dowelbacks and stuff like that and to be honest for the last hour I haven't had a touch. My feeling is we probably haven't quite got the right flies for these guys, they are definitely taking buzzers just in the surface film and we haven't really got anything that imitates that properly. It would have been great to have, there's one just risen right in front of us, <laughs> it would have been great to have like a a uh, little CDC emerger buzzer or something like that. Something that's just going to sit in or below the film. We haven't got that, unfortunately. And we didn't get the takes. But actually, I think overall, I think we're pretty happy with that, aren't we? Oh, I, I said it like after the first fish, whatever happens now, like I will still call it a success because I never had done this before. I caught two fish and I'm happy with it. The only thing I will say, the weirdest things that totally freaked me out, and I can say that now because we're literally on the, <laughs> we on are our the last own. people here. Yeah. I can talk like, ah, and I can celebrate all my fish now. What I had, it totally freaked me out of how calm it is. Like all these people here, there were like ten anglers at one point, nine yeah. anglers, and it's dead quiet. No, like people will catch a fish and put it back, not a sound. <laughs> I'm used to different fishing. I'm gonna catch a fish and I'm gonna be like exploding, and I thought it was inappropriate. So. People that are fishing still waters, please let me know what's the code. Because, the, the etiquette. Yeah, the etiquette, because I think I'm going to be coming back here. Can I laugh? Can I celebrate my fish? <laughs> or do I have to like... Mm, it, it was the world's quietest intro, wasn't it, that we did earlier? <laughs> I'm sorry if you couldn't hear us, but there were so many people. We didn't. It just felt weird doing it. Me whispering, let's go catch a fish. <laughs> but, we've, but we have caught a few fish. We did come and catch a few fish. I think it was pretty cool. Um, I had two, how many did you get? Three. I had three in the end, yeah. But we, we went and stood in the part of the 
lake that no one else wanted to go and stand in, casting into that wind. And actually, I think that's what made the difference. I think so. In, the, in the time that we were here, I didn't see many other fish being caught. No, no, just um, a couple. Yeah, so I, I'm pretty happy with that because these other guys are guys who fish it regularly. I, I think we've done pretty well there. You guys in the comment section will let us know what we did wrong. There'll be tons of stuff. But actually, for your first time ever and my first time in 10 years, what have we fished for? Two and a half yeah, hours yeah, of yeah. fishing. So we've done pretty well in that time. I'm happy with that. Let us know in the comment section what you think and i'm an expert now at still water fishing so you know i know all about the dial backs and the ostriches not ostriches what was it the ostriches no no hold on <laughs> <laughs> what was it the um, damselfly no and cormorant cormorant that's the one i know all about it now so um just saying them bloody ostriches it's, <laughs> shut it, up it's, it's them that did the damage <laughs> anyway guys on that note we're going to say thank you very much for watching this video really appreciate it if you enjoyed it please give it a like if you know anyone who might also enjoy it please feel free to share it with them if you're not subscribed to the channel what are you doing yeah exactly what are you doing with your life get subscribed to the channel there's heaps of videos coming all the reviews all the news loads of fishing there's fish rising everywhere and, this is really distracting and some tying lessons from you how to tie a still water ostrich yeah yeah the ostrich pattern is coming up <laughs> folks we'll catch you again on another video very very soon bye guys. take care folks bye bye